Jesse Smollett, according to Wikipedia.com, Jesse Smollett is an African-American actor and singer. He began his career as a child actor in 1991, comma, acting in films such as The Mighty Ducks, Quack, 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 from in 1992 and Rob Reiner's North, 1994. In 2015, comma, Smollett portrayed musician Jamal Lyon in the Fox drama series Empire, a role that was hailed as groundbreaking. Some of this stuff I've said before or prior to, but I really want to just have fun and get down to, to the breakdown of all this stuff because I just want to really know what's going on and who this guy is. And he's been in, in my face all this time and I didn't even recognize him. We're practically the same age. I was born in 84. He was born in 82. We're practically the same age. So when I saw that this said Mighty Ducks, I was like, I remember watching Mighty Ducks in middle school. Was it middle school? Okay, we did watch Mighty Ducks in middle school, but I wasn't in middle school. It says the Mighty Ducks came out in 92. So that meant I was in either first or second grade. But when I was in middle school, like fifth grade, I remember that's when I, I was introduced to the movie Mighty Ducks more. Because it was played during our homeroom time a lot in the morning. And that's exactly it right there. I wonder if I could find a bigger picture. So... He's, they said he was in Mighty Ducks, so there's actually three parts to this puppy. So I'm going to believe Imp on our own Empire, the Mighty Ducks, the Skinny. I don't recall hearing about the Skinny. Let me go over and hover it, and maybe it'll see what type of network it was by. Have you guys heard of the Skinny? Director Patrick Ian Polk provides exciting character developments, brilliant, brilliant cinematography, and life lessons for all particularly. For all particularly. Well, I'm not going to get all into that. Hmm. Alien Covenant. Didn't know he was in there. He was in something called Underground. He was in a lot of stuff. Which causes me to pause, to push the pause button as to why he did the shenanigans he did. Look at all this stuff he was in. And I did like Star. I wasn't a fan of Empire. It was actually too hood for me. But I did like the um, outfits that they wore. But it was still hard to stomach watching that show. Maybe in another lifetime. I just, you know, it was just so much hood stuff going on in real life. I don't want to sit down and have to watch it in my home neither but i thought he was in star i did like star even though it was encompassed around african-american people and all that jazz the the presentation of how they presented black people wasn't so gang 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 girl bye smack 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 drama 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 so i was able to handle and stomach it the way it was delivered it wasn't so in your face it didn't make me want to vomit so i i really liked star and i saw how jesse was transitioning into that so i'll stop right there because i just don't understand why he did the things that he did why do we do what we do when we do what we do hanging out like like there's no curfew um you have you're not the only child I didn't know he was a part of such a larger family. But when I found out that he was, a, um, you know, Journey's brother, I'm like, why would you want to make a move like that, allegedly, and your sister's in show business? Because unfortunately, what you do is going to reflect back on her. It may not be as severely, but... I know when you get older and you get grown, you want to, you know, you're your own person, you're your own man, you're your own woman, but dog, did you think about your sister's career? Because what you're doing is going to make her look kind of bad, and what if she don't want to support you, man? I mean, this is crazy. If it's not true, well, if it's true that what you did was, you know, fake and stuff, I, I wouldn't, hey... I wouldn't be up there supporting my brothers and sisters if they did something stupid like that intentionally. Why would I be up in court trying to do something? I don't care. No, what you did was wrong, wrong, and stupid. I'm not going to disown you, but I'm not going to be walking down court holding your hand supporting you. 
if what you did was fake. Oh boy, so let's direct it. Smallest character was removed from the final two episodes. Final two episodes of season five because of the <clears throat> beating people of controversy. In February 2015, Smaller confirmed that he has signed a record, a recording contract with Columbia Records and will be releasing an album in the future. Smaller co-wrote the songs I Wanna Love You and You're So Beautiful on the original soundtrack from season one of Empire Album, which was released in March 2015. I did so he was signed, he has signed a recording contract with Columbia Records. And then June 15th, it was announced that Smollett would guest star alongside his sister Journey in Underground. Oh, that's cute. Which aired in 2016. I have so much catching up to do. Smollett. I'm losing my place. I have a ruler because I need I need to follow the lines my eyes are starting to get crossed reading reading my husband got me a ruler thank you babe uh, where am I who my eyes are getting crossed um in June 15th wait on June 2015 it was announced that Smollett would guest star alongside his younger sister journey in underground which started in 2016 Smaller released his debut album, Some of My Music, in March 2018. Some. Oh, you get an S-U-M, like, some, like, Ebonics, Hood, some. Some of My Music is an R&B album that features elements of electronic music and hip-hop. Smaller stuff released it through his own label, Music of Sound. See, he's got a lot going on for himself, so why, again, would he allegedly set up a conspiracy uh, set up a um thing like that to have him get to be in court perhaps he was too busy looking at what everybody else got too busy looking at what everybody else had going on and he couldn't even see the greatness he had which was a lot i think he might be seeing that now like dang what have i done yeah what have you done how are you going to clean it up? You can. Just don't do it again. Gave our son a bowl. Ah, it's cold. <laughs> My teeth. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Help me along. The pain. Oh. <laughs> My teeth. Every now and again they get sensitive. And they get sensitive in the weirdest spots. Usually they are hurting right here. Now they're hurting. <laughs> On January 29, 2019, Smollett told police that he was attacked outside his apartment building by two men in ski masks. He reported they talked to him using racial and homophobic slurs and said that this mega country a reference to a president DT slogan make America great again he claimed they use his hands feet and teeth as weapons in the assault what he claimed they use their hands feet and teeth as weapons in the fight According to the statement released by the Chicago Police Department, the two suspects then poured an unknown liquid on Smollett and put a hanging device around his neck. Smollett said that he fought them off. Smollett was treated at Northwestern Memorial Hospital. Not seriously injured. Hmm. He was released in good condition. Hmm. That part. Later that morning, the police were called after 2.30 a.m. When they arrived around 2.40 a.m., Smaller had a thin white rope around his neck. Hmm. Case is getting weaker already, I'm sorry. Smaller said that the attack may have been motivated by his criticism in the 
Terminator administration, and he believed that the alleged assault was linked to the threatening letter that was sent to him earlier that month. Now, I didn't know about a threatening letter that he received earlier that month. Okay, um, according to the Los Angeles City's Attorney Office, comma, Smuller pleaded no contest to providing false information to law enforcement in 2000 in a 2007 misdemeanor case. Dude, this is going back to fire your track history. In a 2007 misdemeanor case resulting from a DUI. Okay, that's different. This bad, but it's different. A DUI is way different from planning a stage attack. Why didn't you just write something like that in the script instead of reliving it and doing that out in life? So according to the Los Angeles City Attorney Office, Smollett pleaded no contest to providing false information to law enforcement in a 2007 misdemeanor case resulting from a DUI stop, which Smollett gave police a false name and signed his brother's name on the summons, promising to appear in court. Smollett also pleaded no contest to driving with the blood alcohol level over the legal amount, over the legal limit, and driving without a valid driver's license and was sentenced to a fine and two years in probation i couldn't even get through that correctly because i just have some thoughts within that he needs counseling so on top of his sentence he needs to do a year tour to talk to people of his own kind so he can tell them his story of how he made it through america new york and the boroughs on top of that as a mixed African American man who's gay. A year of that, on top of some real therapy and some like Ayala Van Zant stuff. A year or two of that. And then once he goes through that Ayala Van Zant stuff, you can use that and talk about it on a series. Why would you write your brother's name down like that? That's, that's scary. You got it going on. So, well, you had it going on with the potential of getting back going on for his career. Mr. Smollett, don't let your family down. What's my other grape? Speaking of letting your family down, I think my grape sunk down to the bottom of this coffee. your life around tour reaching out to people of your own kind and working with them getting down in the trenches and working with kids so they cannot do what you did and help them seek the counseling that they may need so they don't make rash decisions like that that can alter their life then I would be by your side as a sister because you're actually doing something positive to make up for what you negatively brought upon the family and yourself and the community hey. I had a good time making this video I'm glad I was able to get around to it I'm very thankful I was trying to get around to it for a few days but I had to take the advice of my husband and take a break because I've been doing a lot too so I'm glad I did and had a good time having a good time it's all wrapped up now. The whole Jesse Swollett thing is a wrap. If I touch back on it again, it's going to be about his sister. And that will be more upbeat. Documentary type thing. I'm drinking Folgers decaf. Um, like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. My name is L.A. Pronounced like L.A. like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. Cash app. Right there. You already know what it's for. Know what to do. No pressure. But you know what it is. I'll end this with a... I'll sign out this thingy here. This, this pre-recorded live stream with a... One of my favorite songs, this is Piano Trap by Beethoven by Josh Pan. <clears throat> Josh Pan is a YouTube content creator in the realm of making this music for us to use, divulging this free music. So what's up, 
YouTube content creator from the YouTube community, Josh Pan. Thanks for making this dope beat. Piano Trap by Beethoven. And I put the images to the song. I'm LA like the city. I'm not from the I'm breezy. Signing so, you know. out. Thank you.